And some of the drills that you can do there, um, you know, besides the offensive stuff of, of being here and learning how to wrestle, you know, baseball grip ties are great because they're simple and super effective. You know, elbow passes, drags, you know, misdirection stuff, climbing up to two, uh, inside ties or two on ones or underhooks, all the things that you guys already know come off of that, establishing that dominant head position. And then uh, the same thing defensively. We can do drills where he's coming at me. He's being evasive, bobbing and weaving and slapping and going and whatever. And I just relax and I move forward here. And I keep my hands down, right? And I learn that the more aggressive I am, the better my defense is. Not like, ah, not crazy aggressive, controlled, smart, intelligent, forward, right? Simple, art of war. If I'm on the attack, he has to be on the defense. So the more I can move him late in the match, uh, you know, of course the shot clock and the edge of the mat stuff, but another one of the most impactful tactical things is ahead with short time, right? And you see this all the time, bobbing, and man, doggone, that's scary. I hate that. Not only are we going to get, you know, with these new interpretations, which we'll find out more about, the flee and hold, the flee and call, the caution and two, you know, we can, we can debate that, but we all know it's terrible, right? It's, it's, it's more valuable than a takedown, a hard-fought takedown. That's like, you know, whatever, UWW. But it's scary because of that. Secondly, and more, more importantly from a coaching perspective or a teaching perspective, is that the psychology of, of what I'm doing this way. I'm retreating. I'm giving up. I'm afraid of the guy. I'm telling the guy that he's better than me, so I can't hold my ground, and I'm going to run away from you. Instead of advancing, okay, I'm ahead by one. Now he's even worse off. Now, not only is he behind by points, but he's behind by position. So he has to take a crappier shot. And when he dies, boom. Now I'm ahead by three. Okay. So instilling that kind of ideology in our athletes so we can move forward and we can advance our position uh, in, in, in a patient, aggressive manner, right? In, in short time, right? In short time. So... Um, I don't know, any, any questions or any ideas? Yeah, did you see the video that was put out in the PDF that was put? So Zach, Zach Eric put together a pretty good video, well done video. It's about 28 minutes and you can get your hands on it. And if not, uh, yeah, get a hold of Mike and he's got my email or I can get it to him and he can, he can get it out to y'all. Uh, and there's a PDF that, that it's just a short one-page deal that kind of gives a little more depth to these interpretations. But it's, uh, it's confusing. I think it's confusing on purpose. You know, I think there's a certain, I think there's a piece of UWW that's trying to clean things up and make it better. I think there's some of the old guard in there that, uh, that like to manipulate. They want to choose, right? They want to choose outcomes whether it's, you know, corruption, bias, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, uh, 